Hey everyone, it's me, Jesse Sandifer. You may remember me from the old CG Nuggets days. Uh, if not, that's cool. I uh, did some tutorials a few years ago and I stopped. Um, but now I'm back. Uh, right now, I am currently a lead character artist at Blur Studio in sunny California. And uh, we are going to talk about the coolest things on planet Earth that aren't real. Dragons. So, I've always had a love for reptiles. And I find my art, spe specifically my... Uh, ZBrush sculpting tends to go reptilian on me when I just kind of sketch. I don't know if you have those tendencies where you're just kind of doodling and you find yourself making a certain genre, certain genre or a certain, uh, you know, style. That's kind of where I go. So um, maybe it's maybe it's a bad habit, but I kind of like it. It's kind of a fun little tendency. Um, and you may remember this dude from 2008. Man, that was like seven years ago. Uh, turtle Barbarian. He was a little bit reptilian. Lots of turtle and crocodile dinosaur influence in this guy. Uh, and this was my first exploration of reptiles and sculpting and how much fun it is to put in scales and all that texture and detail and kind of mess around with the shapes. And I got into dinosaurs a little bit, uh, working with Hasbro uh, some, on some of their toys, and just for some fun, honestly, too. And uh, I've always loved dinosaurs, ever since I was a little kid, you know. Um, so getting to work on it as part of my work was just uh, really cool. So this is just a plain old cer Ceratosaurus. And um, also did and some Carnosaurus. So we're going to incorporate this kind of stuff uh, into this dragon. This is a T-Rex uh, with some spikes. I believe it was supposed to be for the new Jurassic Park movie, but they don't tell me the secrets. They just say, hey, make this cool dinosaur. Um... So, yeah, dragons. Let's talk about that. So, typically, what I'll do is I'll go to this little place. It's called Google. It is a web search. I'm not sure if anybody's heard of it yet. It's kind of, it's kind of new, I guess. But what you do is type in the word reptile, hit enter. Oh, and go to images and look, oh, look at that, reptiles. You can get even more specific. Reptile lizard. Check it out. And that's how Google works. Just kidding, guys. Obviously, we all know about Google. Um, <clears throat> this is how I do my pre-research, trying to get some inspiration. Uh, and I just find a bunch of these images, save them out to a, to a folder for, um, for inspiration. So that's an obvious move. I also find cool websites like this one. I think it's Draconica, something like that. Just found it the other day. I think it has all kinds of cool stuff about dragons. What is a dragon? If you don't know what a dragon is, uh, the history of dragons. If you like words, and let's see, you know, dragons across cultures, all kinds of uh, Asian versus European type legends of dragons. Um, and then these are when it starts getting really cool. Start getting into like. Black dragons, red dragons, talking about the different kinds of behavior and uh, moods and abilities and things like that. Start kind of geeking out on that kind of cool stuff. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty cool resource. And the, uh, I think you say it wyvern, maybe it's wyvern, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, these, these dragons without uh, those forearms, those are cool too. Basilisks are always cool too. So anyway, this is a really cool, cool little uh, site. Got some inspiration. Lots of uh, artists have contributed to their little library here of uh, of imagery. So check that out. And there's also 
There's a little bit of anatomy. There's no pictures though, so I tend to go to another site called Pinterest, and this works just like Google, but it brings up a lot of cool images. So I type in dragon, and it brings up dragons from all over the place, from all of you know different kinds. You can pick uh, what kind of dragon you're looking for. <coughs> Excuse me, and you'll see all kinds of stuff in here, from dragons to how to draw dragons to uh, jewelry to not dragons <laughs> yeah. so um, this is another resource I've saved out a lot of stuff from here uh, obviously you can do the same thing in, um, in Google Pinterest is a little, is a little cooler because it's uh, it's got a, a kind of a better feel to researching images Obviously, most people um, are on board with this Pinterest thing. I don't use it a whole lot for like a library of stuff that I keep and that I keep documented, but I do occasionally go to it for these kinds of research um, efforts. Or, guess what? You can go to the library. They have books at the library with pages and pictures and words of dragons. And reptiles and dinosaurs all kinds of cool stuff like that so don't be afraid of your local library because dragons have been around for ever at least you know in books maybe not real but that's another that's another day for a, a topic um, obviously there's movies out there that we all get inspired by there's the new stuff the game of thrones which i haven't seen don't tell anybody Hobbit. The Hobbit movie was cool with Smile, right? Uh, Jurassic Park, obviously. Dragonheart. Godzilla. The list goes on and on. I'm sure people are screaming out some other ones that I haven't mentioned. Um, personally, I got my inspiration from the old Jurassic Park, the, the original, um, that kind of got a lot of us, a little bit, you know, middle aged guys interested in doing CG. Uh, for our future, and uh, seeing that seeing that T Rex, seeing those those dinosaurs come to life on the screen, just kind of like get us all tickled. So here I am now making you know toys for Hasbro like this, working for Blur, making uh, you know CG in general, making making things that are not real into the computer. Uh, so pretty cool opportunity. So. After I get all these images, I dump them into a folder, and I just save. I go crazy and save out a bunch of stuff. I mean, I, I need to save some more, but um, and then I go through all these. Obviously, uh, if you see your work in here, I find it inspiring, so I'm not planning to steal it. I'm using it as inspiration. Um, lots of cool details to use and uh, references. There's even Godzilla stuff in here. Um, but I just found some cool, cool dragon head styles, scales, um, bodies, and uh, just anatomy charts, things like that. That I'll be using as a reference. Uh, I'll probably not pull them up as much as, like, in front of the camera, so to speak. So to keep the uh, copyright junk off my back. But this is where this is how I found all these images just online. I may pull some out as reference here and there just to show some details and wings or things like that later on, but I won't look at them all specifically. Okay, so once you find these, find your favorites. Make a make a sheet that has all the ones that you really like and have that kind of going on in the background. Or if you're fortunate to have another computer on your to your side, you can have that popped up or a TV, have these images pulled up and uh, use that as reference. But Think about the originality. Think about the fact that you're contributing another dragon into a world of art that's got so many dragons that you can easily get lost in. So think of something original. And those are, those are some of the, the ones that I've pulled out specifically as reference here to remind me to be original. Think differently than just the traditional dragon. Just for sake of visual interest, um, I'm hoping to do something different in this dragon but not too wild that it makes it 
like not a dragon so that is the thought and we'll go into understanding the anatomy the structure of the body uh, musculature to a point uh, balance proportion and obviously we're going to be using zbrush for uh, 90 percent of the stuff i can't you know i may hop into max for some stuff since i'm a max user but i'm um, really going to try to keep it all zbrush for r7 um, and that's the plan so the first i'm gonna, like i think my plan is on these this series is just to um, pipe out these little gumroad um, videos piece by piece so as i record them off and get them edited up uh, and put them out into the world where you can all enjoy as we go as opposed to making a solid workshop and then submitting it to the world uh, just so it kind of feels like we're moving together and it's kind of uh, organic I guess uh, keeps me accountable to actually finishing it <laughs> um, but this first one is just an intro this uh, one you're watching now is just an intro to tell you hey this is what I'm getting ready to do hope you can come along and check out the videos uh, for your sake, for inspiration, for step-by-step uh, step if you need it, or just for a visual, like running in the background while you're at work trying to stay inspired, uh, just pull some ideas from. Uh, that's how I kind of work as well. Um, you know, I still watch tutorial videos, other artists out there who inspire me and keep me wanting to do this stuff. Um, whether or not I'm actually learning specific you know how to do it kind of stuff it or not it's it's kind of like it's it's fun to watch people um teach this stuff and and show how they're how they would make a certain um you know character or creature or whatever and i get ideas and it inspires me to come up with my own stuff so um anyway that is the plan so stay tuned for the first one where we will get into the just the startup of how do you even begin uh, this dragon? How, where do you start? I mean, you can't just hop right into details. You got to have an idea of where you're going. So that's where we all go. And uh, feel free to, um, you know, offer any uh, ideas or opinions or any of that stuff or recipes for great brownies. I'm all up for those. <laughs> all right. I will talk to you all again soon. Thanks for tuning in and watching this video, and I hope to uh, see you guys uh, downloading these in the future for the series. Later. Mm -hmm.